in New York City, it's so easy to get lost uh, in the sea of people, right? And even within the church, there's a lot of people and you might come week in, week out, you know, get introduced to different people, but then not really remember who they are or the relationships don't prosper. But it's within connect groups that you can really get to know people on a, on a personal and individual level. It's the place that you can come to, to, to pray together, to believe for one another, to, uh, to encourage one, one another and lift each other up. You know, we all need that and we need to do that for other people. And that is how we grow together in our relationship with Jesus Christ as a family, as a community. It's very important to be part of a community wherein, you know, you'll be able to share life together, uh, that somebody knows what's going on in your life. Somebody's um, accountable to you. You're able to be comfortable um, opening up and, um, you know, in all the struggles that life offers, at least you know that somebody stands with you in prayer. In the last year and a half, the Connect Group was really our church. It was the relationships, the friendships that we had to sustain us when we couldn't meet in person. But even when we are meeting in person, um, you know, you just do small talk on Sunday mornings. You meet some people, you don't see them next week. A Connect Group is a core group of people that you grow together with uh, week after week, you pray for them, you challenge them, you are challenged by them. Um, and it's just a beautiful little community within the broader scope of the church that you can grow with. We're edified. We're actually encouraged with each other. Um, sometimes if you need anything, anything at all, whether that be a material thing, whether that be prayers, you can easily just reach out to anyone from your connect group. It's very important for us to gather um, it's where we actually study the word together. We go deeper sometimes. We have questions that uh, we're able to share with each other. Most of all, we do food, of course. We share food, we bring food, and um, there's just so much shared lives. I always say that it's important that we're actually sharing life in church, in the community, because that's what we're built for, relationships. Um, so I think one of the greatest blessings of a connect group is the prayer community that you have. There's been so many ups and downs throughout the pandemic and you know these these individuals who you connect with on a weekly or monthly basis are just the people who are standing with you for all of that. And um, it's amazing to celebrate and also amazing to grieve with these people. And um, we highly, highly encourage and love our connect groups. So um, we hope you join. We can't live our lives alone. We need one another. Just as we have heard so many times, we are better together. And that's why, you know, uh, in our Connect Group, we're, we're a group of families and we're growing together and we're getting better together. If you are ready to find a group to grow with and a small community to support you, then we have a Connect Group for you. All you have to do is text the word GROUP to 844-962-3110 and it will text you back with a link that will give you a big list of those connect groups. You can also find those connect groups at enmyc.info. You can have a look through the list, find one that works for you, location, demographic, and then you can hit a button and you'll contact the leader and you'll be able to work out if it works for you. We really hope that you can find your people to grow with this year.